During his time at the college, <laughs> Tyler has excelled in both his academic work and his co-curricular activities. An international political economy major, Tyler represented his classmates as a member of student government throughout his four years here, including service as vice president this past year. Tyler also distinguished himself as a member of the Howland Yotes speech and debate team. In 2013, he and teammate Chris Cruz made C of I history by earning a first round bid to the prestigious National Parliamentary Tournament of Excellence. Tyler. Thank you, President Henberg. I'd like to alleviate one of the concerns. There is nobody I know of that can question more accurately than you have, so I appreciate that. I want to start by thanking you, my fellow classmates. Many of you told me that you want me to be the one to speak to you today even those of you who know me well. I can only hope that the reason for this is I want someone to speak to you frankly and candidly about what we've done here and more importantly, what we're going on to do. I will try my best. A lot of speakers before me and after me will recount the fond memories that they've had here and speak kindly of the friends that they've made, how this place has changed their lives for the better and how they're sad to go. Some of them have and will continue to draw on dictionary definitions to enumerate these points. This is not what my speech will be. Although that doesn't mean that these aren't sentiments that I don't feel. Double negatives. I just believe they're ones that you don't need me to explain. The college experience is, is one that's been marketed and sold to, to many of us since we've been in grade school. We've memorized the bullet points necessary to concisely explain the value of liberal arts education, and we've ingrained as to what's your major or what do you want to do with that. And we've committed years of our lives to a challenge I don't think many of us understood at the outset. In fact, many of us have spent whole nights in bed wrestling with our inner monologues and whole days in classes justifying our education and the loans that accompany it, trying to do everything we can to better understand that challenge. And now, standing before you on the day of graduation, I honestly think most of us get it. We can finally say, without a doubt, college was the right choice for us. Some of you may do a double take. This statement is not one that you hear from me often, or ever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most of you have only heard me say the opposite, in fact. But the fact that we're all here today is pretty indisputable evidence. College was the right choice for us. But why was it the right choice? I think the answer is a lot more complex than it appears at first. A lot of my classes has felt useless. I've been chided by professors for being apathetic about my education, wasting my money, etc. They're not wrong. I could have been more present in classes, tried harder, lived up to my potential, but I didn't. I didn't pull straight A's. I'm not graduating with honors. I'm sure some of my professors are relieved to have one less laptop in class, but I'm okay with that. Somehow I still feel I got my money's worth. That doesn't add up on paper, but I've always been bad at math, so that's probably why. <laughs> Here comes the positive. Parents, don't worry. Here's what I realized. The College of Idaho, for many of us, has never been about coursework. Some of us came here with a clear plan, followed it, and they're getting fantastic jobs in their field. They know that they're passionate about. And I'm proud of my colleagues that can categorize themselves in this way. I mean this seriously. Congratulations. You are on the path that the rest of us were sold when we were filling out our college applications. I sincerely hope you continue to be people that I can say I'm proud I went to school with. But what about the rest of us? For each individual that followed a clear plan, there's a cluster of us who recklessly abandoned theirs, and then along with the dreams of a 4.0 and a perfect attendance record. And a lot of you have expressed disappointment in yourselves for this. A lot of you have expressed disappointment in this institution for not setting you up perfectly with a six-figure salary related to all of the things you spent memorizing for the test. But I don't think you should be disappointed in yourself or in the school that we have come to define. Hashtag YOPFAM, YOLO, LOL. I feel like those of us thinking these things have lost sight of the real accomplishment here. We set out to do something that many cannot, and we succeeded. We rose to the occasion. We met the challenge, and we jumped through the hoops. And now, everyone knows that we can jump through the hoops, even if we don't want to. To me, that is the most important thing. Your degree has never been an indicator of what you know so much as what you're able to do if you commit yourself to it. Your degree is an expression of willpower. It shows that even if you don't want to do something, you can buckle down and do it anyway. That's an important trait. That's a trait that many of our peers lack. And that's the real thing that separates us from the rest. That, my friends, is why we are all above average, far above it. Some of you have concluded that you picked the wrong major because you don't want a job in your field. That's fine. Deep breath. You're going to be all right. This was not a waste of time. 
Speaking for myself, I think it's just as important that we learn what we don't want to do. So you don't want a career in your field, so you don't want a career at all right now. That's okay. These are decisions that we can make now because we've been equipped with the tools to make them confidently. To those of you who are disappointed in yourselves for reaching this conclusion after four years of getting up too early, don't be. It takes tremendous amounts of courage to go off the beaten path. In fact, for many of us, this is the first authentic opportunity we've gotten to do so. A lot of our decisions have been made for us in the past couple years, past 16 years, actually. Some of us more than that, but we're done now. The degree in your hand, or that will be in your hand, I wasn't sure what order this speech was going in when I wrote it. <laughs> the degree that will be in your hand shows that the goals that others have impressed upon you and consequently the goals that you've impressed upon yourselves have been met. And now for the first time, our path is ours to determine. Don't let people judge you if you don't have the next couple years of your life figured out. I certainly don't and I'm great. <laughs> The sense of security college is supposed to give you when you get your degree is a lie. In fact, if you really took advantage of your education, you're probably leaving here with a lot more questions than you came with. What college gave you, what it gave me, is the ability to say, I know that if I put my mind to something, I will be successful at it. The College of Idaho has given us so much more than coursework. It's given us the ability to seek our true passions and commit to them when we find them. Your degree is living proof that you can deal with the grind necessary to do what you love, and I know that many of you will. We have not built paths here. We've built foundations. Some of us just don't know what we were going to build on them yet, and that's okay. So, class of 2014, congratulations to all of us. We're done. We did it. But this has been just another stepping stone. We have so much more ahead of us, and I hope that fact excites you.